Greetings, cherished Cosmo Nexus viewers. I'm your host, Adam Collins, and today we're venturing into a remarkable concept that might just transform the future of space travel, paving the way for voyages to corners of the universe we've only dared to dream about. This idea challenges the very foundation of our understanding of physics. We present to you the helical engine, an ingenious creation by Dr. David Burns from NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center. This revolutionary proposal presents a mechanism with the potential to reach speeds close to the speed of light. Before we get into it, let's familiarize ourselves with the basics. Conventional rockets, akin to those launched by NASA or SpaceX, require a substantial amount of propellant, such as liquid hydrogen, to generate thrust. However, an increase in fuel directly contributes to the weight of the spacecraft. Moreover, the storage tanks needed for such fuel for interstellar travel are exceptionally bulky. In stark contrast, the helical engine proposes a solution to these problems, suggesting the employment of particle accelerators, akin to the ones in Europe's Large Hadron Collider. The theory centers on propelling minute particles at high velocities using electromagnets, recycling them back into the engine, and firing them again. Now, let's get back to light speed travel. Having had a brief overview of the helical engine, it's time to delve deeper and unravel this fascinating concept. As implied by its name, the helical engine operates based on a helical or spiral structure. The idea is to tap into the energy produced by particles as they traverse this spiral path within a particle accelerator. These particles are accelerated to speeds nearly equivalent to the speed of light. As per Dr. Burns' proposal, the velocity of these particles increases their mass due to the effects of relativity. Hence, upon reaching the rocket's front, these particles attain their maximum velocity and, correspondingly, maximum mass. Upon reaching the front, the particles decelerate, losing both speed and mass as they head towards the rear. This cycle repeats, resulting in constant motion. Dr. Burns suggests that this constant shift in mass distribution could generate a net forward force, which would propel the rocket forward. Now, this is where it gets intriguing. Traditional propulsion systems are always subjected to a significant compromise, the more thrust required, the more propellant needed. Consequently, the spacecraft becomes heavier. This predicament makes deep space exploration a formidable challenge with traditional propulsion systems. However, if the helical engine operates as proposed, it would be a closed cycle propulsion system, i.e., it wouldn't necessitate any propellant ejection. Instead, all the action and reaction would transpire internally, owing to our helically traversing particles. The benefits are evident. There'd be no need to transport massive amounts of fuel, dramatically reducing the spacecraft's weight. In theory, this could allow spacecraft to attain tremendous speeds, potentially up to 99% the speed of light, as per Dr. Burns. The possibilities, you'd agree, are unimaginable. A trip to Mars in under 13 minutes, reaching the moon in just over a second, and even potentially touching the stars that were once beyond our grasp. That's the extraordinary promise of the helical engine, a prospect that's as exhilarating as it is daunting. But, as with any groundbreaking concept, there are numerous challenges and questions to be addressed. As we've observed, the helical engine operates at the frontier of our comprehension of physics, testing the very principles that have guided us for centuries. Yet, within that strain, within that audacity to stretch the boundaries, lies the potential for exceptional advancements in our capabilities. However, before we lose ourselves in the sea of possibilities, it's vital to also acknowledge the obstacles we face. After all, science, 
like any expedition, is about understanding the challenges as much as it is about dreaming of the possibilities. At first glance, this seems quite revolutionary. However, there's a significant catch. The concept appears to contradict Newton's third law of motion, which states that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Reactionless drives like the one proposed here claim they could generate thrust without expelling fuel out the rear. Some may argue that Einstein's theory of relativity invalidated Newton's laws. Indeed, but Einstein's theory aligns with Newton's third law, as does quantum theory. If reactionless drives function as proposed, we're looking at challenging three centuries of physics. Dr. Burns concept cleverly pitches Newton against himself using a fascinating property, relativistic mass. The concept proposes moving a mass within a rocket, much like bouncing a ball inside a box. We've discussed the helical engine's promise of reaching up to 99% the speed of light. But what does that really mean? What would happen if we could indeed travel at such speeds? Let's establish one thing, light is vital. It helps us perceive and understand our surroundings. But what if you could travel as fast as light itself? Upon achieving light speed, light would fail to keep pace with you, and consequently, everything behind you would go dark. Light from the sides would manifest as colorful streaks whizzing past you, a cosmic blur. Light ahead of you, unable to escape, would reach you quicker than usual and thus appear extraordinarily bright. Then, something astonishing would occur. Time, as we understand it, would begin to distort. It would seem to slow down. Clocks would appear to have stopped, and planets would seem stationary. This is due to time dilation, a fundamental aspect of Einstein's theory of relativity. Simultaneously, your field of vision would shrink drastically, as if the universe is condensing into a tunnel of light ahead of you. These effects, while perhaps disconcerting, are the consequences of challenging the cosmic speed limit, the speed of light. They illustrate just how radically our perception of reality could change if we ever attain such remarkable speeds. But, as we approach light speed boundaries with concepts like the helical engine, we're also pushing against the basic laws of physics, and that's where the real hurdles commence. Consider this, particles are propelled along this helical path. As they reach the front of the rocket, they're accelerated to near light speed, and as they reach the back, they decelerate. This is where relativity comes into play. Particles moving near the speed of light have greater mass than slower particles, so they're heavier at the rocket's front than at the rear. Using our bouncing ball analogy, it would seem as if the ball magically gains mass before it hits the rocket's front and loses mass before hitting the rear. According to Newton's laws, this would mean the ball gives the rocket a larger forward push than backward, causing the rocket to accelerate forward. This sounds appealing in theory, a magical mass-altering ball, right? Unfortunately, while relativity does change mass, it also adheres to Newton's third law. As the mass of the particles increases, their speed along the axis would decelerate due to the relativistic effects of time dilation and length contraction. As a result, the particles would provide an equal push to the rocket at both ends. Thus, even with Einstein's theories, we can't quite outmaneuver Newton. You may recall that his concept involves particles moving within a helical structure. According to Einstein's relativity, these particles gain mass as they accelerate. But why do these particles gain mass at such high speeds? It's because of the energy we're injecting into them to increase their velocity. Einstein's famous equation, E equals mc squared, stipulates that energy and mass are interchangeable. Thus, the more energy an object receives, 
the more its mass increases. In the context of the helical engine, particles are sped up to near light speed at the rocket's front and decelerated at the back. As they increase speed, the particle's mass grows at the front and decreases at the rear as they slow down. Theoretically, this should create a force imbalance, propelling the rocket forward. The increase in mass due to speed is known as relativistic mass. It's a fascinating concept with implications not just for theoretical spaceships but also for our understanding of matter and energy. But keep in mind, it still abides by the rules of physics, including our trustworthy Newton's third law. Here's where the paradox lies. Despite being an exciting concept, the helical engine seems to contradict established laws of physics. However, this is exactly what makes it interesting and worth investigating. These types of ideas challenge our understanding and drive us to unravel the universe's mysteries. Are we about to create a reactionless drive, a spaceship that can travel near light speed? The answer remains uncertain, but every question we pose, and every concept we explore takes us one step closer to that aspiration. It's premature to discount the helical engine. Certainly, it's riddled with challenges, and there's a high likelihood it might not work. But it's these types of concepts, the ones that challenge our knowledge, that potentially catalyze tremendous advances in science and technology. There's another interesting aspect to Dr. Burns's proposal. His engine could theoretically reach speeds of around 297 million meters per second. At such speeds, light would have a hard time catching up with you, distorting your vision in unprecedented ways. Picture this, everything behind you would appear black, time would seem to stand still, and clocks would appear to freeze. Your field of view would dramatically constrict, and the universe would seem to morph before your very eyes. We've delved into the captivating concept of the helical engine, and its potential to revolutionize space travel. Despite seemingly contravening established physics laws, it's crucial to remember that progress often originates from such audacious proposals. Dr. Burns himself acknowledged that he's ready to be proven wrong, as the path to innovation is strewn with failures. However, these failures serve as stepping stones leading to breakthroughs. Science is an expedition. It's about moving forward, even when the goal appears unreachable. It's about pushing the limits of our understanding, venturing to the edges of the cosmos, and breaking barriers to discover new frontiers. That's what the helical engine symbolizes, a stride in our unending pursuit to conquer space. Remember, every idea, concept, and theory deserves exploration. As we continue to question, explore, and learn more about our universe, we might just uncover the key that unlocks faster than light travel. That concludes our journey for today, Cosmo Nexus Explorers. I hope you found our voyage through the helical engine concept as fascinating as I did. Remember, the universe is an open book, and it's up to us to fill its pages. If you've enjoyed our cosmic journey today and wish to join us in future expeditions, remember to hit that subscribe button and activate notifications. Also, don't forget to share this video with your fellow space aficionados. Every like, comment, and share helps us deliver more quality content to you. Keep your eyes on the stars, keep questioning, and most importantly, keep exploring. We are Cosmo Nexus, your compass to the cosmos. Until our next expedition, I'm Adam Collins, and as always, thanks for tuning in.